I could murder on the next hill from our camp and what? There was a holy shit. There was a murder. I do that kind of stuff alone. I mean, I know there's like people that do that, and I've I've watched things on YouTube actually. I can quite enjoy it. It's fine. I'm not watching it a bit though. And it would be like, um, especially as like a, a woman, um, like doing like camping alone. You never know who's wandering around, even if it's in the middle of nowhere. You have no idea. Cause people have cars and can drive, and it's just too scary. Especially like, for me, like I'm more of a hotel person. I've went camping when I was young, like one of the, the school and stuff like that but um for me now um i like the idea of um, being in a hotel and shelter and the door is locked and it's massive so that no one's going to get in and i i just don't find it appealing as i once did when i was young even like when i was young i didn't really find it like i found it appealing to, like the idea of it but then i went and i was so cold in the morning i was just miserable i just no it's just not something for me really which is sad at times but I do, I do like going in nature but i just feel like at night time it's too scary for things like that and it's just not safe for me i feel uh yeah i was camping in mid wales and stuff happened nearby really what kind of stuff happened was it like really bad stuff because the thing is as well like i mean um of if you go to like a for example like a festival or something and um you know like if, like a music festival and people have like their camp set up and everything you know you can have all your shit there and somebody could come in your tent and um, somebody could hurt you you don't know uh wales from homeland oh you're from oh you're from wales jake oh cool never been to wales i'd like to go at one point um, also, yeah, we heard a, a girl screaming when me and my mates went camping. Really? See, that could have been anything. Like, oh my god, did you just go see what happened? Or did you just kind of like think, just leave it kind of stuff? Because things like that, you just don't know. It could have been anything. It could be a ghost or it could actually legit be somebody actually in like in trouble. It's quite frightening with things like that. Um, like, I just feel like a hotel is so much more safer. And at the same time, if you're if you're going camping, like you've got to take all your equipment with you. And I don't drive or anything like that, so I've got to take it all like on a train or something. And I just feel it's too much hassle to to deal with that kind of thing. Uh, Buttes, why could murder on the next hill from where we're camping? What? There was a holy shit! There was a murder. That's terrifying. See, that's what I'm saying. It's just like, why would you want to put yourself in a situation where if like anything like can happen now we just left oh that was a good um good thing to do is just leave um because even if it was like pretend like pretend screaming and like trying to coax you out like i remember back in the day there was a i used to like get collect magazines and stuff like that and it was like girly magazines like um we used to have ones called bliss sugar and shout and there was like articles like you know kind of think of um you know how you get closer and that like, your mums would have like those kind of magazines but think that but teenage versions and um so i was reading them and i remember there was an article and it was about these girls that would be in gangs with these guys and what they would do is they would lure um other boys or and i'm talking like these were like not older women these were like teenage girls and they would lure these boys um down like an alley like um you know like oh i'm into you kind of thing so come back with me and blah blah and then they would the the gang would then jump the boy and beat him up and just rob him and mug him and things like that and like that kind of stuff so you never know like that kind of thing can happen and that's maybe why she was screaming I'm not saying that's sort of fully what was going on but it could have been anything but it's just best getting yourself out of that situation because you never know I uh, went camping once and never again. First night there was a massive storm and lightning hit a tree and I was woken up by a giant branch landing on my tent. Holy shit, that's terrifying. Oh my god. Oh, I would never go camping again. My first night as well. <laughs> you want it to be a good night, but oh no. Um, me and my two bros and two friends were on the rental camping site. Two people were just camping on a hill nearby. They never came home. That's so scary. Was it somebody that just appeared like a, like a random person and, and killed them or was it somebody they knew kind of thing or like obviously you're not going to know in that situation but i mean if it was on the news or something uh yeah some head case that's that's so scary oh my god yeah i would put me off for life 
I spent the rest of the holiday sleeping in the car. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know what? Caravan is close enough. A, a caravan's fine, but um, not a bloody not a bloody tent. Tents are not safe at all. Even if you go to a, t- a camping site, like even then, you never know who you're sharing like the grounds with and stuff. Um, I remember when I was young and we went um, wild camping, if you will, for a day and it was where my grandma used to stay and we woke up and there was cows outside the tent and cows are huge and I got a fright and I just, all did was zip the tent back up and it could come and trample us or anything if it got spooked or something but yeah, that was um, not fun and we just went back to my grandma's because she just lived in the road from where we were and we got a shower and went home. <laughs> just like, no. Um, I prefer, if we're going like on a holiday such as that, I'd just go in a caravan. But if I was going for like an actual holiday holiday, I'd just go in a hotel, you know, um, and just enjoy that. Uh, and since then, my camping has been restricted to jazz festivals. Jazz festivals, that sounds really fun, actually. See, like, I went to, I didn't go to Glastonbury per se, like, to go and watch music or anything like that. My mum's boyfriend at the time, he was a chef and he was working in security, so he was doing all the meals and stuff like that. So I went um, down with him and I went to work, if you will, there. So he had like a little marquee where he could do all the cooking and there was a little tuck shop, or if you will, where I worked on and they just like sold um you know like crisps and gave the he made up lunches and things like that and gave them we gave them out to the security people so there was like two teams of security for the festival and we just did all that kind of thing um the worst thing is though there was no till if you will it was just like um uh a little money box and then figuring out the prices and I'm awful at maths like it is my worst week it's my weakest point you have to give me a calculator to figure shit out and even then I'm, I still get it wrong um so I was in charge of that and I didn't like it there was a one really kind man who came over and he was just like oh could I get like a bunch of stuff so like juice and crisps and chocolate and things like that and it came because it was all it wasn't like a pound for each thing so it was like a pound or something it would be easy for me to round up but it was like 75p 60p 35p whatever things like that and I struggled to try and work out the change and things and I was so embarrassed I was about 17 I was so embarrassed and um he just like helped me work it out hopefully he didn't rip me off like <laughs> I don't think he did I think he was just like a really decent person and which was really nice um when I was there, I actually met like the one of the. I don't know if it was true because this guy could have been talking at his arse, but um, he told me and the girl I was working with that he was the most tattooed person in the UK and he was in the Guinness Book of Records. And I don't know if it's completely true what he said, but he he decided to show us his chest and then he's a wee, a wee um bald man. And then he said he was like Lily Allen's uncle or something like that. I think he was talking shite, but I was just like, oh yeah, that's that's really cool random man do you want to buy some juice and feck off and there was another woman that came up to the bloody thing right and I'm no any stranger to pass a, a bar of chocolate right and but she was and she came up and she's like how many calories in a Mars bar and how many calories are in a packet crest like what one's better I'm like I'm I'm going to get both because why not and then um, she's just like asking these daft questions and I'd been up since four o'clock packing lunches and I was just like I have got no time for this nonsense just pick something and bugger off and what made it worse is that people would come and get a lunch and we so you get like a, a sandwich a packet of crisps a juice and a, bis- a biscuit or a chocolate or whatever and then they'd come with the thing and so say for instance we've um, set up like a ham sandwich one with salt and vinegar crisps, juice which is like cola with a dairy milk right just go for that and then they'll come to pick it up and they'll complain that they wanted a chicken sandwich instead of the ham one so we have to rifle through every single bag and I'm telling you there's about 400 bags I'm not even joking 400 of them because we were shit at ca- uh, categorising them. See, if I was alone, I would have done fine, but because working with somebody else and I got so flustered and I didn't like it. And um, they were like, can I swap this for this? And then you don't know what, the f- what bag's which and what's going on because we didn't decide to like label them with like colours or something, which would have been so easy. And um, they didn't even like go amongst themselves saying like, oh, John, you've got a ham sandwich. Um, me, Peter, I want a chicken one. I don't know, something like that. And I'm like, why do we have to do this stuff? It's so annoying. But um, 
yeah, that was a nightmare. Luckily, where we were, the tents weren't that bad. Um, because it was quite a, it was in security, so it was more secure. But being in a festival thing like that, I don't think I'd like enjoy it because I would just be so paranoid that my tents are like alone and all my stuff's there, and I'm going to go and visit like a go and listen to music and everything and I, I don't think I'd enjoy it as much as I think I would. Um, my brother's been to like tea in the park and he just said it rained all the time and he just was like covered in mud so I'm like uh well never mind then. Wellies all the way, wellies are the best. I never like wanted to get wellies but they are like my go-to thing now and they're the best. Um, Sorry I was just read your stuff. Uh, where am I? Oh uh, yeah but car from if I shower is a must need to wash off the blood from a night of slaughter. <laughs> Exactly, you're kind of screwed if you've not got a shower in there. That's the thing is, like, um, caravans are actually pretty decent for this, like, just like a wee holiday like that, and they're awesome. Like, I went to like my dad's ex's mum and dad's caravan, and uh, we had like the beach just right down at us, which was really cool. And I would just, I don't know why, I, I wanted to, I woke up one day and I was just like, I'm gonna go down to the beach and I'm gonna dig a hole all day. I just wasn't in the mood to do it, and I did. And then I wanted to make a tunnel. And uh, my plan was to make an actual tunneling system for me, because, and um, these idiot little boys came over and tried to like um, throw the sand in and stuff like that, so my hole would get filled in. And I was really annoyed. And um, then my dad came out and he's like, I told him what I was wanting to do, my plan, my, my awesome tunnel plan. And he's like, um, no, because that could cave in and you could die. And very like blunt about it, I'm like, oh well, let's well, not that happen. So I ended up getting sunburnt on the back of my, like my back, and that was the first time I got sunburnt, and that sucked. Oh my god, it was sore. My dad put on um, oh was it King Arthur? He put on because I'd been watching Babe. I'm not even joking. Like Babe's one of my like my ultimate favorite movie, one of them anyway, and I watched it three times for a week when I was there. I'd watch it in the morning, have my breakfast, and I'd come, come in, have lunch, and then watch it at dinner. And it was the best. And my dad was like, right, I'm not watching Babe for the billionth time. We're going to watch King Arthur. And I was like, ugh, no. So I'm sitting there with like sunburnt back in pain. I'm watching a film I didn't want to watch. And I didn't want to like go away into the room to like do something else because I didn't have anything else really with me at the time, as I remember. Um... But yeah, but I remember being on holiday and um, I'd be like, we'd, I'd always have my, my letters with me because I felt like a week away was a year <laughs> when I was a kid. So I'd like write to my mum and my friends and be like, I never sent them though. I just kind of wrote them and I for would forget to send them because I forgot about stamps and stuff. Um, but I would have my little letter stuff that I had, like my, to write handwritten letters. And I'd be like, um hi um how are you i'm doing great um this is what's been happening and stuff like that on um on holiday and blah 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 and it's like i've been away for so long and it's been like a couple of days <laughs> but yeah it was just i like going like having holidays um they're really good